Here we are in the Mississippi River Gallery at the Science Museum of Minnesota. We're looking at the skeleton of the Hollandale woolly mammoth. You can see the lower jaw there now in the foreground, and there's part of the skull behind it. You can see those big grinding teeth. They're surrounded by some of the bones from the front and back legs and uh, some of the other parts of the body. And there's a big tusk there visible in the foreground now. Nearby is the complete skeleton of Castoroides ohioensis. That's the giant beaver. They were about the size of a modern-day black bear when they were fully grown. This skeleton is one of the most complete specimens for this species known anywhere, really. The collection vaults um, down below the exhibit galleries um, are just a, a scientific treasure. Here's paleontologist Bruce Erickson holding a woolly mammoth tooth. There's a complete skeleton of, a, of an extinct bison found when Interstate 35E was being built. Plaster field jackets with holding bones from the Lyle woolly mammoth. This is volunteer Neva Key. She's working on getting the hip bone of the Lyle mammoth out of the field jacket. There's just so much work that goes into uh, getting these specimens ready for research and exhibits, getting them out of the field, back to the lab, um, and then in the lab, stabilization work, brushing, picking. The field jackets keep the bones from breaking under their own weight while they're um, being moved. The paleontology lab is just an, an exciting place to be. There's a lot of energy, a lot of volunteers working on specimens from all different time periods from all over the world. It's just amazing to see this stuff. The collection vaults themselves really hold the big picture behind what you see in the exhibit halls upstairs. Some other specimens from Minnesota. Bruce Erickson looking at some of the other skeletons of, um, of giant beaver. These are less complete than the one you see upstairs in the exhibit hall. Um, there's, you can see some of the skulls on the upper right. He, Bruce is looking at some of the smaller bones. That's the lower jaw with the big incisor tooth. This is Minnesota's only specimen of giant ground sloth, that big claw. And here we are back upstairs in the river gallery with Castoroides.